Welcome to the Creality Printing Tutorial video. In this video, we will introduce how to use the color tool in Creality Print to achieve multicolor printing models. When you want to create a multicolor model, the typical approach is to split the model and assign different colors to various filaments. However, if the model is already a single piece, it can't be assigned different filaments. In such cases, you can use our color tool to achieve multicolor printing models. Section 1. Basic Operations Here is a model before coloring. We will use this model as a demonstration to explain the functions of various tools in the coloring tool. Before we start coloring, there are a few steps to follow. 1. Add filaments. This is where you set up the filaments. Click the plus icon to add a filament. Click the number to open the color palette Choose the desired color and click OK to confirm. Note that the color tool will only be visible when there is more than one filament. 2. Select the model. Use the mouse to select the model you want to color. When the model is selected, a white box will appear around it. 3. Enter coloring mode in the top toolbar. Click the coloring tool to enter coloring mode on the left. You'll see the list of materials and tools. Select the tools and colors you need. At this time, we need to note that if we click outside the model again, we will exit the painting mode and need to re-enter. Section 2. Introduction to Core Tools 2.1 Circle Tool In the toolbar, select the Circle Tool. After selection, a dashed box will indicate the coloring range. Pressing 1, 2, 3. 4 allows you to quickly switch between filaments which is useful for switching colors. The pen size can adjust the circle size, that is, the size of the coloring range, or quickly adjust by scrolling the middle mouse wheel. Hold down the left mouse button and drag to color the surface of the model. If you are not satisfied with the color, you can press CTRL plus Z to undo the last action, or you can also use left mouse button plus Shift to erase. Section Views can cut out a specific area. The orange part is the section viewing area. The cutout view cannot be colored. This function is suitable when the model blocks the view. For example, the rabbit ears block our view. We can t-color the inside. We can cut it out with a section view. This way, we can color the inside areas. Two point two filling tools for complex models. Using the circle tool to color bit by bit can be tedious. In this case, we have a more efficient tool, the filling tool, which is ideal for quickly coloring large areas. When smart fill is enabled, the fill tool colors the selected face and any adjacent faces with an angle is less than or equal to the smart fill angle and the same color. Parts with different colors will not be filled. When you hover the mouse over the model, a yellow highlighted line will appear, indicating the filled boundary. Click on the part of the model you want to color, and it will automatically be colored. If smart filling is not enabled, the filling tool will color the entire model, coloring every face. We are demonstrating with another model. This is a model composed of multiple parts. If Smart Infill is not used, the Infill tool will color the individual parts inside. If Smart Fill is enabled, only the selected faces and adjacent faces with an angle is less than or equal to the smart filling angle will be colored. Situations where smart filling is not enabled are more suitable for models composed of multiple parts combined into a single unit. Two point three gap filling tool. The gap fill tool is used to fill small gaps that may occur when using other tools when coloring. Small gaps might sometimes be left uncolored. It can fill in those tiny gaps. Drag the gap area slider to adjust the size of the gaps detected. The larger the gap area, 
the larger the gaps that can be detected. A translucent effect will be applied to the gap once the gaps that need filling are confirmed. Leave click to select the gap to be filled, and it will automatically be filled with the surrounding colors, so you don't need to choose the color manually. Two point for triangle tool. The triangle tool is used to color individual triangle faces, making it ideal for precise handling of specific areas of the model, especially in conjunction with the gap filling tool. It can handle gaps in tight corners by enabling the show model line. You can more intuitively see how the triangle faces are colored. The model surface is composed of countless triangular faces, and the triangle tool allows you to color these faces one by one. The size of the triangle tool cannot be adjusted. Hovering the mouse over the model will cause a yellow highlighted line to appear, indicating the coloring area. Hold down the left mouse button and drag across the model to start coloring. Two point five sphere tools. The sphere tool is similar to the circle tool, but instead of coloring the model surface, it colors all the faces within the entire sphere range. Therefore, it can color the back of the model as well. After selecting the tool, the semi-transparent sphere that appears indicates the brush's coloring range. The pen size can be adjusted to change the sphere size. You can also quickly adjust the pen size by scrolling the mouse wheel while holding down the CTRL key. Then leave click the model to color the selected areas within the range. It can be seen that the spherical painting tool can apply color to the back of the model, while the circular tool cannot paint the backside. When coloring, the circle tool is more suited for drawing curves, while the sphere tool is better for drawing standard circular patterns. 2.6 Height Range Tool Another tool that allows for large area coloring is the Height Range Tool, which colors all faces within a specified height range. This is suitable for adding a uniform color to a specific part of the model, such as coloring a model's face or creating striped patterns. For example, adjust the height range value to change the brush size when hovering over the model. The yellow highlight line indicates the coloring range. Hold down the left mouse button to color the model within the entire height range. You can use this tool to color a specific height range or to create such striped patterns. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope this video helps you better utilize the coloring tool in Creality Printing, adding more vibrant colors to your 3D printed creations. Enter the Wiki official website to find more information.